I'm going to go really quickly to the scripture this morning, the gospel according to Luke chapter 19, and I'll just be reading six verses in your hearing. The gospel according to Luke chapter 19 verses 1 through verse 6. When you have it, I'm going to ask you to just stand with me momentarily for the reading of God's word. Luke chapter 19 verse 1 through verse 6. Pastor Lampkins, we love you. We love you. When you have the word of the Lord, I want you to declare by saying, I have the bread. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, hurry up, come down out of that tree. For today, I must abide at your house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully and all of God's people said amen before you sit down share this word with somebody tell them I thank God for the tree, I thank God for the tree. you can be seated in the presence of the Lord I thank God for the tree uh, recently Netflix released a movie based upon the life of Madam C.J. Walker. The story follows her humble beginnings in the African-American cosmetics and hair industry. Through her hard work, she began uh, and became the depiction of one of the first African-American female uninheriting millionaires. This depiction of her life was both inspiring and provocative. Although I enjoyed the movie, uh, both for its entertainment and educational value, I did feel that the title for the film was very problematic. Not to be controversial, but the powers that be decided to name this movie Self Made. Now the reason I feel this title was problematic because as vigorous of a character as she was all through her story, there were people who had assisted her on her journey. She had her husband, C.J. Walker, who helped with advertising and marketing in her early years of her business. She had her daughter who worked alongside her and even carried on her legacy after her death. She had Annie Malone who is the one that originally got her started in the hair business. My point is, none of us made it where we are on our own. We are the generation, even in our Pentecostal vernacular, we are a generation of the mighty cutoff. We pride ourselves on our ability to cut people off to the point we make a status about it every year. But instead of cutting people off, you better learn how to reconcile. I, won't, I knew I won't get much shouts off of that. Some of you keep cutting so much that you're not going to have anybody left to clap for you when you eventually win. I want you to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you're going to need somebody. I know you say all you need is Jesus, but you keep living. You're going to need Jesus in somebody. Those who stand tall stand on the shoulders of others. And those who travel far, they tread the paths that others have blazed. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, somebody helped me. Yeah, somebody helped. Somebody shook my hand and put a couple of dollars in my hand and told nobody about it. Look, some of y'all got amnesia. Somebody, I said, somebody helped me. Somebody gave me some groceries. Somebody gave me a ride when I didn't have a car. Somebody helped me. We all know King David 
after Jesus, most biblical polls said he's the most popular biblical character. We name our children after him. Without any photos, his name paints pictures in our minds of the debonair gentleman, one that's strong, one that's a warrior. I know you've heard that song about him. Saul has killed his thousands and David has killed his, yeah, you heard it, 10,000. David, no matter how many flaws and all, when we think of him, we see him as the protagonist of every story. He's our hero, but when David was in the latter part of his administration of his monarch rule, he began to pull back the cover. He began to testify and give honor where honor was due. Y'all don't know how to give honor. First, giving honor to God. <laughs> <laughs> pastor first lady all the deacon saints and okay see the friends are those who come to church but they're not saved yet friends he acknowledged those who stood by him when he ran from Saul he acknowledged those who stood by him when it wasn't convenient by name he took the time to mention over 30 men who helped get him the victory I don't need people in my life to just show up for the photo. Mm. I need some people that know how to fight. Yeah, David said, you know about me, but do you know about Jeshubim, who killed 800 men at one time? He said, you know about how I came home with the victory, but do you know that Eleazar stood by me and fought so hard until his hand got stuck to his sword. I'm almost finished. You heard the song about me. But when our people were starving and the Philistines would trample our harvest, Shammah stood in the midst of the lintel field and protected it. Tell your neighbor, I didn't do it by myself. I didn't I didn't uh, I didn't I didn't do it by myself God sent somebody this is why you have to be careful about putting up so many walls I know you got trauma I know I know somebody hurt you and stabbed you in the back but some of us have put up so many walls to protect ourselves that we've in actually built a prison around ourselves David said in my haste all men are liars but I have to rethink this wouldn't be here if it wasn't that God sent somebody I want to pause and tell somebody in this room God is sending you help mm, hallelujah hallelujah you know I struggle oftentimes with this language I struggle when I should use someone or use somebody <laughs> Although there are grammar synonyms, oftentimes the word somebody is usually used more in spoken language and someone in written language. In a situation in your life, God can use someone or he could be used somebody. Mm, someone, the one is a numerical expression of God, Eckhart, our God is one. Somebody is an expression or a picture of the sacrifice because God prepared himself a body. What I'm trying to say, in other words, I don't know how help is coming, but however it comes, shout at somebody, it's going to be God. Oh my God. When we see miracles of the gospel, although Jesus performed these miracles, oftentimes it was at the request or the assistance of someone else. It was his mother at the wedding of the Cana of Galilee that requested, do something about this wine deficiency. It was the mother that came to him on behalf of her daughter and her response was even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the table. It was the century that looked at Jesus and says you don't even have to come to my house but just send the word there was a lame man who couldn't get to Jesus but he had friends who carried him and tore the roof up off of the building just to get him to Jesus scream at somebody shout somebody, somebody. and today in our text as I hasten to my close there was a man who couldn't get to Jesus because of his height he came up short the crowd was great and he was about to miss his moment hallelujah he was about to miss his opportunity he wants to see Jesus but he didn't have the right connection so in a split second he climbed a tree 
the tree put him in the view of his miracle the tree put him in proximity with his deliverance the tree gave him an advantage it's because of the tree that Jesus saw him mm. and I know when we preach from this text we preach about Zacchaeus we talk about Zacchaeus the tax collector but tonight or this morning whatever time of day it is I don't want to preach about Zacchaeus I want to talk about the tree huh. what did the tree go through my God what did the tree endure to be strong enough for a man to climb what did the tree go through what did the tree survive to make it to this point this tree was by a roadway and in order to be a roadways oftentimes greenery has to be sacrificed but when they cleared the road some kind of way this tree survived look at your neighbor tell your neighbor i thank god for the tree this tree survived the potential cut down this tree could have been trampled by a roman soldier or a horse in its seedling stage but the bible said hallelujah uh, there was a tree i need you to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor i thank god for the tree and the bible calls us trees of righteousness archbishop you have been a tree to greater mount calvary you have been a tree to washington dc you have been a tree to your pastor bishop williams you stood as a tree to your family you've been a tree to your students you have been a tree to pastors all over the world you've been a tree 10 lepers got healed but there's at least one to come back in the room today and shout bishop owens thank you for being a tree hallelujah thank you for standing when storms tried to destroy you thank you for standing when the enemy tried to chop you for 57 years you have provided shade to the weary fruit to the hungry because of you many got to see jesus who would have never experienced him i wish i had a help in here bishop owens you are that tree and today we call you blessed for the bible says blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law does he meditate both day and night and he shall be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in his season his leaf will not wither and whatever he doeth shall prosper i want you to put your hand on your neighbor's shoulder and tell your neighbor for all the people you stood with and tell your neighbor for all the people you supported everything you do is going to prosper everything you touch is going to be blessed I don't come to preach about everybody but I want to preach to those who have to fight behind the scenes I want to talk to the people who have to be strong for everybody else I need you to scream at your neighbor and say neighbor this next season is for you if you can touch it you can have it if you speak a thing it's going to come to pass. I, I need you to touch a, a blessed woman. Put your hands on a blessed man. And tell him whatever you do. It's got to prosper. You've been strong for your family. You've been, you've been strong for the ministry. You've been strong for the church. You've been strong for your children. But the Lord. But the Lord. He will be strong for you. I need you to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor I thank God for you I need you to find somebody who stood with you in hard times and I want you to tell them say hey 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 thank you for fighting for me thank you for not judging me thank 
you for supporting me without telling my business. Y'all don't know how to say thank you. Mama told me if somebody does something for you, if you can't pay them, the least you can do is say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I want to talk about one more tree. Ah, there's a hymn that says, On a hill far away stood an old yeah, rugged cross, an emblem of sin and shame. Tell your neighbor, I thank God for that tree. said if I be lifted I'll drop all men unto me so what did they do they hung him high and they stretched him wide he hung his head and for me he died can I preach Jesus for he was wounded hey for my transgressions, for my iniquities, and the chastisement of my peace was upon him, and with his stripes, and with his stripes, with his stripes, we are healed. I thank God for the tree. Shout about the house you live in and brag about the car you drive. But I am, I heard Jesus say, if you rejoice over anything, rejoice in the fact that your name, I said your name, your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Because of that tree, I'm saved right now. Because of that tree, I'm delivered right now. Because open up your mouth and thank him for the sacrifice. He could have came while I waited, but he waited while I came. Pull on your neighbor. He said, oh neighbor. It could have been a different way. It could have been a different outcome. I heard Sophia on the color purple. She said, see me. That day I saw you walking in that store. I knew there was a color. I come to tell you the mere fact you keep showing up is a testimony. Somebody got to tell a testimony. But look at somebody and said, I am a testimony. I could have been dead. Dead and gone. I could have been cut off. But I need somebody to open up your mouth and shout for what you know about. Shout for your deliverance. Shout for your breakthrough. Thank you for the tree, Lord. Thank you for the tree. Hey. we have to consider that even the strong need strength. I mean, what about the person who prays for everybody else? Who prays for them? Who encourages 
the encourager to the point many of us are warriors but we're bleeding warriors we're wounded warriors you can't keep doing this you can't keep doing life you can't keep doing marriage you can't keep doing ministry without being wounded at some point the revolving door of people coming in and out of your life sometimes when you meet new people your question is number one who sent you and number two how long you gonna stay but today I want you to get the the eye contact of somebody who's strong who's been strong for the family who's been strong for you in your life see some of you are narcissistic you can't praise them unless it's for you but I want you to find somebody in this room who's been strong for everybody else and look at them and say neighbor you have fought for everybody else but tell them but this next praise has nothing to do with me tell them this next praise is for what God is about to drop on you I want you to open up your mouth right now and shout for a strong person shout until they get healed I want you to shout until God save their children I want you to shout until they get a second week oh I feel the Lord no I said there's a second we have to fight without revelation I said there are moments we have to fight without oh shanana messiah one two red ho y'all say y'all say how y'all had to catch up with me that's, that's how that's how life is sometimes things will come out of nowhere Tell your neighbor, I've had to fight without revelation. There are some battles I didn't choose. They chose me. There are some things I didn't ask for, but it happened to me. But I come to declare to you, you are getting ready to find out in this next season what the fight was really about. When you look at somebody, tell them you're about to find out what the fight was really about. So, some people have a misconception. They think you dance because everything is perfect. But some of us, our praise is cathartic. If I don't praise, I'll lose my mind. Although some of y'all acting bougie in this section, you know what I'm saying. If I don't praise, I'll go crazy. Well, if everything ain't perfect, why are you dancing? I would have painted. Lest I believe to see something. To see the goodness of the Lord. Somebody in this room, the enemy has been fighting your family. But I'm declaring to you that a Sunday praise is going to give you a Monday miracle. There's about 75 of you. You need God to move for you by Monday. When I count to three, I want you to run down to this altar and put a praise on it. Go ahead. One, two, three.
Bishop S.Y. Younger. Thank you for watching this video. And now what I need you to do is like and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can continue to get more inspirational, motivational, and gospel content in your direction.